Hey, let's love the universe, it's Xander, and welcome back to WWE 2K23 Universe Mode. Welcome to TNA Rebellion, the second half of our seemingly ever-present double premiere weekends, because I seemingly never reach the end of double premiere weekends. We are kicking things off here tonight at Rebellion with the X Division Championship on the line is out first. The walking weapon, the former X Division champion, Josh Alexander, on his way down to the ring. A big match tonight for Alexander, who looks to become a two time X Division champion if he can win here tonight. Shockingly lost the title at No Surrender last month to Alan Angels in that triple threat, where Jacob Fatu was the one pinned in the end. So Alexander looks to win the gold back that he originally won from AJ Styles. He looks to try and get that back here tonight. Josh Alexander out first. As here comes his opponent, the reigning X Division champion, Allen Angels. Alan Angels, a big match tonight. He is a two-time X Division champion now in his own right. It was a pretty short reign the first time around, though, for Angels. He won it and then almost immediately lost it to Steve Macklin. But now tonight, he's got to try and take on one of the best stars we've got in TNA today. One of the best stars going for TNA in Josh Alexander. He's got to try and put down the walking weapon, which is no small task. A massive first defense here for Angels tonight. Alan Angels also was in the final two of the Call Your Shot Gauntlet back at Bound for Glory. You can't forget that. Definitely a career highlight for the young Angels right now. So, Alan Angels and Josh Alexander are going to go one on one. Without any further ado, X Division Championship on the line. Alexander and Angels one on one. Here we go. Josh Alexander catches Alan Angels, swings him around, and drops him right out of the gate. Into a cover now, cover for the title. Josh Alexander for the one, two, nearly got him that quickly. And now Alan Angels starting to get back up. Josh Alexander knocks him into the ropes now. Josh Alexander, right hook. Grabs Alan Angels. Alan Angels dumps him over the top rope, and Angels, oh, tries to fly to the outside, goes splat instead. Okay, head now from Alan, and now Alan Angels. Hurricane Rana taking down Josh. Angels getting him back up to his feet now. Alan Angels with Josh Alexander back into the ring. Alan Angels goes up to the top rope. Josh Alexander went for him. Angels rolled it through. Alan Angels. Hurricane Rana connects again to the walking weapon. Double axe handle as well. Angels with a right hook knocks back Alexander. Now Josh Alexander grabs a hold of him. Throwing Allen Angels off the ropes, over the top, out to the floor. Down goes Angels. The right through official now holding back Josh Alexander as Allen Angels back into the ring. Allen Angels. Knee in the face of Alexander. Grabs him. Crucifix cover now by Allen Angels. For the one. Kick out from Josh. Josh Alexander now caught with a roundhouse kick. Allen Angels. Getting him back up to his feet. There's a jab. Allen Angels. Firing away on him. Josh Alexander counters. Alexander. Grabs onto him, throws him off the ropes. Josh Alexander collides with him. Alan Angels now sidesteps him. Josh Alexander for the backfisted Angels. Alexander's caught him now. Josh Alexander taking him towards the ropes here. Alexander has got Angels in the ropes. And Josh Alexander, clothesline, sends him over the top rope. Josh Alexander now with Alan Angels off the ropes. And massive dive from the walking weapon taking down Angels. Angels getting picked back up to his feet now, and Josh Alexander kicks him in the ribs, and jumping neckbreaker connects. Coming ahead now by Allen Angels. Countered now, Josh Alexander knocking him back. Alexander grabs onto Angels. Josh Alexander takes him down. Alexander firing away on him now, hammering away on Allen Angels, who rolls back off of him. Alexander now gets Angels back up, and Josh Alexander... Puts him into the corner and throws him into the barricade. Down goes Allen Angels. Josh Alexander's got him down now. And Josh Alexander, six count. Allen Angels starting to get back up now. 
And now Josh Alexander with Allen Angels. On the apron now, Angels grabs him. Whoa. Kicks out the leg at seven. Down goes Josh. Angels. Referee restarts the count now. Back into the ring. Allen Angels goes for him. Josh Alexander, belly to belly. Taking him down. Allen Angels goes down. Josh Alexander is caught. With a roll through now, but the referee was way out of position there. One. Josh Alexander kicks out now, and now here comes Alexander. Angels sidesteps him now, and Allen Angels gets out of the way. Allen Angels. Right hook connects into backstabber to the walking weapon. Allen Angels hooks the legs. One. Two. Josh Alexander stays in it. On Angels stomping away at him now. Josh Alexander, neck breaker of his own, takes down Angels. Angels is down. Josh getting him back up to his feet now. Josh Alexander. Swinging Tombstone taking down Allen Angels. Josh has got him down now. He's got Allen Angels up. Josh Alexander. Suplex taking him down. Angels goes down now. Alexander's got him. Josh Alexander kicked in the head now. Allen Angels. Oh, no. Josh has got him. Oh, might have been going for the C4. Allen Angels counters. Hurricane Rana takes down the walking weapon. One. Two. No. Another kick out for Josh Alexander. Allen Angels goes for a kick. Josh Alexander into a neck breaker. And now there's a cover. Josh Alexander cover on Angels. One. Two. No. Grabs onto him. Josh has got him. Back body drop. Takes him down. Josh Alexander now telling Allen Angels to get up. And Josh Alexander with Angels back to his feet. Grabs him. Thought he was going to go for the uh, for the C4 there. But Allen Angels found a way out of it. That C4 is dangerous. If Josh hits that, it's pretty much game set for Allen Angels. So he's got to try and avoid it. Super kick to Josh Alexander into a cover now. Allen Angels cover for the one. Josh not going to exert that extra energy kick it out. He's just going to grab the bottom rope. And Josh Alexander staying in it now. Allen Angels with Alexander under the bottom rope. Allen Angels. Right hook to Josh Alexander. Knocks him back. Allen Angels with another one. Alexander's knocked back again now. And Allen Angels is caught. Oh, and Josh Alexander taking him down. Before he starts the count now. Now Josh Alexander. Allen Angels dives out onto him. The boots to him now is Allen Angels. He's got Josh Alexander down. Alexander runs in, rolling kick into the head, taking down Angels. Allen Angels now getting picked back up by Josh Alexander. Alexander turns him around. Angels counters now, and Allen Angels drop kick to Josh Alexander, staggers him. Ale Alexander's caught him now, and Josh Alexander slams him into the ring apron. Down goes Allen. For the count of five, Josh Alexander's got him. Alexander pulls him in, and suplex taking him down. For the count of six now, and Josh Alexander with Allen Angels into the steps. Count of seven. Is Angels going to be able to get back in before the count of ten? Well, Josh doesn't care. He's going to break the count. Ref restarts the count now. Josh Alexander not going to back. Allen Angels with a hip toss. Angels is kicking away at him now, and Allen Angels putting the boots to Josh Alexander. Rolls back to his feet, and now Josh with Allen Angels drops him again on the outside. For the count of four now, Josh getting him back up to his feet. Josh Alexander throws him back into the ring. Allen Angels is down, Josh Alexander back into the ring. Now Josh Alexander, here we go. If he hits this, it's game set. He pulls him in. He's got the arms. He's going for, whoa, he went for C4. Josh Alexander unable to hit it again. Allen Angels able to slip out of it. And Allen Angels goes through the ropes. Allen Angels now knocks back Josh Alexander. Angels trying to go up to the top rope now. And Josh Alexander goes for him. Angels counters. Allen Angels, no, counters and kicks out the legs of Josh Alexander. Allen Angels has got him down now. Went for a springboard. Josh Alexander kicks him down. Allen Angels now, small package, cover on Alexander. Allen Angels for the one, two, no, nearly caught him again. Josh Alexander staying in it again now. Allen Angels is putting the boots to him. Josh back to his feet though, grabs Allen Angels and Josh Alexander throws him across the ring, taking him down. 
They do another cover now. Josh Alexander covers Allen Angels for the one, two, kick out from Angels. Now Allen Angels pick back up to his feet. Josh Alexander has a hold of him. Hooks the arms again. Going for it again, but Allen Angels counters the C4. Into an Alabama slam on Josh Alexander. Allen Angels up to the top rope now, and Angels looking to take to the sky. Frog splash to Josh. Josh Alexander rolls out of the ring now, and Allen Angels. Frog splash to the outside as well. Grabs onto him now, and Josh Alexander's down. Allen Angels. Double axe handle taking it down. The walking weapon. Back up to his feet now. Josh Alexander. Throws him back into the ring. Thrown back in the ring by Allen Angels. And Allen Angels. That one up to the top rope again. Angels. With Alexander in trouble now. Allen Angels. Went for a missile drop. Kick Josh out of the way. And Josh grabs onto him. Hits the swinging tombstone again. Puts the leg on Allen Angels. Josh Alexander for the one. Two. No! Last possible second, Allen Angels kicked out. And now Josh Alexander pulls him in, hooks the arms. Josh Alexander's got him up and down for that C4 spike. Allen Angels is down. Josh Alexander for the one, two, three. Josh Alexander reclaims the X Division title. Second right back up where he left off at no surrender. Josh Alexander is now a two-time X Division champion. Once he hit that C4, it was game over. Your winner and new X Division champion, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. Josh with a big win tonight, and that is our first of eight matches this evening. We got plenty more coming up next. We have a very last minute addition to the card here up next, folks, as here comes Limitless Danger to the ring. The duo of Chris Danger and Keith Lee on their way to the ring. This match made after this past Thursday's episode of TNA where Danger was assaulted backstage by the grizzled young vets for calling out Mustafa Ali for a match. Danger attempted to make the call out to Ali, only to get laid out with chairs by the grizzled young vets. Despite Danger's best efforts to fight both of them off on his own, he was laid out, and so the director of authority, Santino Morella, has made this tag team match tonight, where the grizzled young vets are actually putting their number one contenderships that they won just a couple weeks ago at No Surrender on the line. On the line against Limitless Danger. Here come the GYV to the ring and Mustafa Ali, the call your shot winner, lurking in the back. We're still waiting for him to call his shot from Mustafa Ali. So, Grizzled Young Vets have made their way to the ring as well. Zach Gibson, James Drake, former Raw Tag Team Champions here in LS11 Universe. As it's going to be Chris Danger starting out against Zach Gibson. That's the man who took the first swing on Thursday. Danger runs in. And Chris Danger, I mean, he's half the size of everyone in the match. It, so it's really going to be a one-man show for Keith Lee tonight. As Chris Danger is already in trouble early on here. Cross face from Gibson. Chris Danger elbowing away at him now, trying to knock him back here. Danger. Takes the swing at Drake, and Gibson just throws him across the ring to the corner. And Zach Gibson, oh, DDT from Chris Danger. And Danger now going after him. Chris Danger firing away at him here. Danger with a knee strike, staggers him. Chris Danger sidesteps him. Danger goes for him, gets caught, and Gibson now taking him towards the corner of the Grizzled Young Vets. Puts him in the ropes. And Zach Gibson with Chris Danger picks him up. Take him down and slingshots him into the bottom rope. Danger goes down. He's pulling himself up again. Chris Danger picked back up now by Zach Gibson. Gibson's got him by the back of the head, taking him towards the corner. Head first in the corner. Tag is made to James Drake. Now James Drake and Zach Gibson. Powerbomb clothesline combo. Chris Danger's down. 
Now James Drake knee into the head of Chris Danger. Rolls him over now into a cover. Chris Danger's down. Keith Lee trying to come in for the save. Lee with the save. And now Keith Lee. Out of the ring goes Chris Danger. And Danger. Ali up in his face. Chris Danger hits the ring. Chris Danger now caught by James Drake and Ali. Watching on is Chris Danger. Back flips out of that German suplex. Hurricane Rana puts some distance between himself and James Drake. Chris Danger getting him back up to his feet now. And Danger goes for a kick. Ducks the chop. Chris Danger gets a kick in. Countered though. And now James Drake has got him by the back of the head. Taking him towards the corner. Into the corner goes Chris Danger. Up on strike Zach Gibson with a right hook. And now James Drake grabs Chris Danger from behind. James Drake with Chris Danger off the rope. Danger collides connects with a left hook now. And Danger... Fires over the chop, firing away now, Chris Danger, knee strike to James Drake, and Danger now, here we go, gets him in the corner, tag is made, Keith Lee is in, and this is the guy that the grizzled young vets have got to worry about. Keith Lee, with James Drake across the ring, pops him up, powerbomb, into an elbow, Keith Lee's got him down, wipes out Zach Gibson, elbow to James Drake, Keith Lee now grabs onto Zach Gibson, or to James Drake, Pulls him back in, and Lee, overhead belly to belly, taking him down. Zach Gibson down the outside. James Drake comes in. Shoulder block attempt, but Keith Lee flattens him. Now Zach, or James Drake, pile driver to Lee. Keith Lee goes down. James Drake into a cover for the one, two. Keith Lee getting the shoulders up. Keith Lee is down. Now James Drake grabs him, kicks him in the ribs. James Drake going for Keith Lee. He's got him up in a suplex. Keith Lee slides out of it. Keith Lee has him by the head, and Lee punches him in the head. Grabs a hold of him now, Lee, with James Drake. Throws him across the ring into the corner. Keith Lee with a big splash into the corner. James Drake pulling himself up on the apron now. Keith Lee. Oh, Chris Danger taken down. Now Chris Danger, hang on. Manages to send James Drake right back into the waiting arms of Keith Lee. Keith Lee. Gets him up on his shoulders and Lee. Carrying James Drake around the ring. Big Bang Catastrophe. For the one, two, kick out from Drake. James Drake staying in it now. Keith Lee kicking away at him. Keith Lee kicks him. James Drake runs him with a clothesline though, knocking him back. Has a hold of him now, and Keith Lee slammed down by the back of the head, and James Drake bends back the arm, stomps the arm. Pulls him in now. Keith Lee taken down by the leg. James Drake now has got a hold of him. James Drake sidestepped by Keith Lee. Keith Lee taking him down and Lee. Elbow drop to, to James Drake now. Keith Lee grabs a hold of him. Keith Lee with James Drake. Kicks him in the ribs. Keith Lee. Whoa, I think he was trying to set up Spirit Bomb. Taken down by, by Drake. One, two, no. And now Keith Lee. He's got James Drake up again and Keith Lee. With James Drake up, and Spirit Bomb! Keith Lee taking him down with a Spirit Bomb. Grabs a hold of Zach Gibson. And Keith Lee now going outside the ring after Zach Gibson. Dropping him on the apron as well. Keith Lee is about to make himself in danger of the number one contenders to the TNA Tag Titles. He's got him off the ropes, and Keith Lee, oh, collides with James Drake. James Drake now. Brings himself back into a massive clothesline, but Keith Lee doesn't fall. James Drake grabs onto him, clotheslines him again, but Keith Lee is still standing. Now James Drake manages to go up to the legs. You take out the legs of Lee, that's going to bring him down. Bring him down to size. Keith Lee rolls out of the ring, and that is not the right side of the ring to be on if you're going to roll out for Keith. Keith Lee back to his feet. James Drake with a shoulder block taking him down. Keith Lee is caught now. Four on strike from James Drake. Through a jab, knocking him back again. And elbow to the face from James Drake. He's got Keith Lee. He sends him back into the ring. Keith Lee is down. 
We're at the count of five. James Drake with Keith Lee down. James Drake looking to finish the job now. Lee is getting back up to his feet, and James Drake fixing in the ribs. Pulls him in. Grabs the big man up. And Brain Buster! Into a cover now on Lee. Chris Danger coming for the save. One, two. Last second save by Danger. And now Zach Gibson with Chris Danger. Just throws him over the top rope. Just let taking him out just like he did the other night. Now Keith Lee with James Drake. Throws him across the ring. Oh, and Zach Gibson is in. Zach Gibson with a clothesline. When Keith Lee tries to grab him, Zach Gibson, DDT to the limitless one. Keith Lee is fighting an uphill battle right now. Zach Gibson goes up to the top rope. Gibson went for a frog splash. Chris Danger slides into the ring. Keith Lee now with Zach Gibson. Right hook taking him down now. And Lee with Gibson back up to his feet. Keith Lee grabs Zach Gibson. Throwing Liverpool's number one into the corner. Tag is made. Chris Danger's in, and Chris Danger. Keith Lee's got Gibson up. Danger. Blockbuster. And Keith Lee and Chris Danger cover on Gibson. One, two, no. And now Zach Gibson is in there with Chris Danger. Danger's still a rookie compared to everyone else in this matchup. He's only been wrestling at actual matches for a few months now. Now Zach Gibson take down to Chris Danger. Takes him right out of the legs. Now Danger starting to get back up to his feet, but Zach Gibson punches him in the face. Danger trying to pull himself back up again. Right hook again from Zach Gibson. Gibson's got him down. Chris Danger trying to pull himself up. Zach Gibson's got him now, and Gibson back body drop to Danger. Takes him down. Tag is made. In comes James Drake. Chris Danger starting to get back up to his feet. Danger is caught by James Drake. Pile driver taking down Chris. Cover. One. Keith Lee with the save. And now Zach Gibson with Keith Lee over the top rope. Oh, wait a minute. Chris Danger counters now. And Danger kicks the leg of James Drake. Chris Danger rolls him through. Stacking him up. Danger. One. Two. Oh, my God. Chris Danger just stole it. Chris Danger and Keith Lee just stole the win. James Drake got too careless when he watched Zach Gibson wipe out Keith Lee. And Chris Danger was able to capitalize. Danger, I don't know if he even knew where he was after that pile driver. But he managed to sneak away with the win. Keith Lee and Chris Danger had stolen Grizzled Young Veteran's future title shot. Just like that, Keith Lee and Chris Danger with the win. All right, the TNA Digital Media Championship is on the line up next. Here comes the former Digital Media Champion. The Wrestling God. Moose. Moose representing the major wrestling gods tonight in this matchup. Moose making his way down to the ring, looking to become a two-time digital media champion tonight. He's already a former world champion as well. He was the first TNA world champion we saw in LS11 Universe. So Moose looking to become digital media champ for the second time tonight. And he goes one-on-one -on -one with the man that tricked him into a match at no surrender. The Wanted Man. Nick Nemeth on his way to the ring. Big matchup here tonight for Nemeth as he defends the digital media title. Once again, he took down Brian Myers. This past Thursday on TNA. But now tonight, he looks to take down Moose. So 
So Nemeth and Moose. This time Moose knows the match is coming, so he's been able to prepare. So digital media title up for grabs. Here we go. It's Moose. It's Nemeth. It's one on one. Here we go. Right up from Moose. He shoves Nemeth down to the mat. Nemeth starting to get back up. Moose pulls him in. Knee in the face from Moose. Grabs on the Nemeth, getting him back up to his feet. And there's a jab. Moose with Nemeth. Headbutt taking down the digital media champion again. Moose grabs onto him now. Nemeth pushes him away with a kick. Back now. And Moose grabs onto Nick Nemeth. Pulls him in. Moose overhead belly to belly. Down he goes. Now Moose grabs onto Nick Nemeth. Nemeth grabs him and. Sweeps the leg, taking down Moose. Nemeth has got him down now. Moose is down. Nemeth. Put the boots to him now. Nick Nemeth kicks Moose in the back. And now Nick Nemeth. Here we go. Starting to drop some elbows on him. Taking down Moose here. Nemeth. Drops three elbows back to back on him. Moose goes down now. Nick Nemeth. Kicks him again. He's got him down here. Nick Nemeth. With Moose down. Kicks him in the ribs again. Moose. Back up to his feet now. Nick Nemeth. A jab to Moose. Knocks him back. Moose grabs him though. Moose with Nemeth. Throws him across the ring. Into the corner now. Nick Nemeth. Right up from Moose. And now Moose jabs him again. Moose knocking him back. Kicks him down. Nemeth though. Grabs Moose. Rolls him through. Nick Nemeth. For the win. For the one. No. Moose kicks out. Nemeth goes for a boot. Moose grabs him now. And Moose with Nemeth. Off the ropes. Big kick in the face there from Nemeth. From Moose to Nemeth. Nemeth rolls him back through though. Cover for the one. Kick out from Moose. Now Nemeth runs in, but Moose counters. Moose grabs onto the digital media champion. Throwing him into the corner now. And Moose with Nick Nemeth. Grabs onto him. Moose sends Nemeth into the corner. Massive shotgun drop kick taken and down. Out of the ring goes Nick Nemeth. Moose now. Here we go. Whoa! Trying to dive out onto him and Nemeth got out of the way. Moose crashing and burning. That's Nemeth jabbing away at him now. Moose jabbing. Getting caught by Nemeth. Nick Nemeth. Thrown back into the ring. Nemeth grabs onto him getting Moose back up to his feet and there's a chop. Nick Nemeth. Knocks back Moose. Runs in. Kick him in the face now from Moose. Moose kicks him in the back now and Moose grabs Nemeth. Bends back the arm. Stops the arm. Moose has got him down now, and Moose grabs a hold of the show off, pulls him in, and the wanted man. We're going to get out of that powerbomb position. Firing away, getting out of it now. Nick Nemeth turned around. Moose grabs him, and Moose. Massive lariat to Nick Nemeth, taking him down. Moose for the one, two, kick out from Nemeth. Moose has got Nick Nemeth down now, and Moose coming off the ropes goes for a senton. Nemeth got the knees up now, and Nick Nemeth goes for a clothesline. Moose caught him now. Moose pulls him in, countered. Nemeth knocks him back with a kick. Nick Nemeth, clothesline, into another one. Ducks him, hits the ropes himself. Big clothesline there from Nick. Now Nick Nemeth has got Moose down. Nick Nemeth kicks him down. Nemeth drops the elbow. And again. And one more for good measure, taking down Moose. Moose goes out of the ring. Nemeth. Got out of the ring after him now. And Nick Nemeth goes for an elbow. Moose out of the way. Now Moose getting back up as is Nemeth. Moose grabs him. Moose with Nick Nemeth. Electric chair drops him on the floor. Nemeth staggering back to his feet. Moose grabs him. And Moose with Nick Nemeth. Goes for a fallaway slam. Nemeth sidestepped him. Nemeth. Super kick. Taking down the wrestling god. Moose is down. Nick Nemeth. Throws him into the ring apron. Grabs a hold of him now. Getting him back up to his feet. Reverie the count of five. Six. Nemeth sends Moose back into the ring now. And Nick Nemeth. Goes for a kick. Moose back to his feet. Moose. Kicks him in the face. Cover on Nemeth now for the win. Moose to become digital media champion again. Two. Kick out from Nemeth. Nick Nemeth staying in it now. Moose has got him down. And now Nemeth is down. Moose. Is he looking here? Moose. Turns Nemeth around. Moose. No. Nemeth. Counters. 
Super kick. Falls into the cover. One. Two. Moves. Gets the shoulders up. Nemeth putting the boots to him. Moose back to his feet now. Nemeth running in. Moose collides with him. Moose grabs onto Nick Nemeth now. And Moose with Nemeth off the ropes. Moose for him. Nemeth caught the ropes now. And Nemeth grabs Moose. Taking him down. Here we go. Jackknife cover. Nick Nemeth. Cover on Moose for the one. For the two. And no. Moose kicks out again. Nemeth kicks him down. Moose back to his feet. Neck breaker from Moose. Nemeth goes down now, and now Moose circling him. Grabs onto Nemeth, pulls him in. Moose grabs him. Throwing Nemeth into the corner now, and Moose with Nick Nemeth up on the top rope. Grabs him by the throat, and Moose choke slam spine buster off the top rope. Telling Nemeth to get back up now, and Moose grabs him for that massive lariat. Taking down the digital media champion. Moose into a cover for the one, two, no! Nemeth stays in it. Nemeth now kicks Moose in the head, knocking him down into a cover. Nick Nemeth for the one, for the two, no! Moose kicks out. Hey, I've won with that move before. I know it can work. As Nick Nemeth, he was trying to do the same. He was trying to have the same success. Oh, moves out of the way of the drop kick from Moose. Nemeth. Grabs Moose, rolls him through. Nemeth into a cover now. One. No, Moose grabs the ropes and uses it to help himself get out. And now Nemeth running the ropes. Nemeth. Famous, sir. Takes down Moose. Nick Nemeth now. Knee in the face. Getting Moose back up to his feet now. Nemeth with a jab. And again, Nick Nemeth. Knocking Moose back. Nemeth. Running in, Moose with a jab though, Moose jabs Nemeth in the gut, taking him down, Nick Nemeth goes down, Moose into Senton. Two, Nemeth kicks out again. And Moose has got Nick Nemeth down, Nemeth falls out of the ring now and Moose goes out to the digital media champion again, Moose power bombs him on the floor. Moose getting Nick Nemeth back up to his feet now, and Moose grabs a hold of him, sending him back into the ring, and Moose has Nick Nemeth down, Moose grabs Nemeth, pulls him in, and Moose drop kick to Nemeth, taking him down. Nick Nemeth staggering back to his feet, Moose kicks him in the face, and Moose Looking to finish the job now. Looking to retain, re, looking to regain the digital media title. Spear to Nick Nemeth. One, two, no! Nemeth stayed in it again. And now Moose, here we go. Moose, whoa, Nemeth counters the attempted spear. Nick Nemeth now. Close line. Into another. Now Nemeth ducks Moose, hits the ropes. Close lines him again. Moose back to his feet now. Moose sweeps the leg of Nick Nemeth, taking him down. Moose comes off the ropes and went for a senton. Nemeth out of the way. Nick Nemeth now grabs Moose and Nick Nemeth trying to put the big man to sleep. Nemeth has that sleeper in. Moose in trouble. Nick Nemeth. Wrenching it in on Moose, trying to put him to sleep. Moose flailing about, trying to get out of it. Moose rolls it through, and Moose taking down Nemeth. And now Moose grabs onto him. Moose, German suplex, takes him down. Go, Moose, went for the elbow. Nemeth out of the way. Nemeth knock, jumps at him, trying to knock him back. Moose counters. Moose grabs onto Nemeth now, goes for a headbutt. Nemeth out of the way. Super kick! Connects one more time. And Nick Nemeth grabs the ropes, rolls through into a cover. One, two, no! Moose kicks out. Nick Nemeth going up to the top. Nemeth going to look to fly here. Moose starting to get back up to his feet. Nick Nemeth. Oh, Moose has caught him now. And Moose with Nemeth. Oh, Nemeth elbows his way out of it. Nick Nemeth. 
Right hook to Moose, turns him around, Nemeth. Danger zone! Cover! One, two, three! Nick Nemeth. With the victory, Nick Nemeth puts down Moose tonight. Nick Nemeth keeps the TNA digital media title for another night. Nick Nemeth beats Moose this evening. What a victory there for Nick Nemeth. Got more coming up right now at Rebellion. The TNA Tag Team Titles on the line up next as out first. Here come the Bullet Club to the ring. The duo of Kenta and Jacob Fatu representing the group tonight. We're going to bring the gold back that was lost last month at No Surrender when Chris Adonis joined the Embassy of Aaron and helped them capture the gold. So now Kenta and Fatu looking to bring back the gold that ABC lost. Big matchup here tonight for these two. So they both look to Capture the TNA Tag Team titles for the first time in either of their careers. Kenta and Fatu. Kenta, of course, is a former New Japan Junior, IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. Jacob Fatu, we have yet to see hold gold in the Ellis Living Universe, but it's a matter of when, not if, for sure. match up here tonight as they take on the reigning TNA Tag Team Champs representing the Embassy of Aaron Bullet Club and the rest of the Embassy not at ringside tonight as here come Brian Cage and Big Bill down to the ring Ryan Cage and Big Bill of the Embassy of Aaron ready for their first defense of the gold. So, let's do this. It's Kenta, and he's starting it off with Brian Cage. Without any further ado, here we go. Kenta coming running in. Kicks Brian Cage in the face. Cage answers back with a clothesline. And now Brian Cage has got him. Turns him around. Cage has got him up. Taking him down. Kenta goes down now. Brian Cage tags Big Bill in, and the smallest guy and the biggest guy are both in now. Kendall going to quickly knock him down to size here. Close line. Staggers him. Kenta kicks him in the knee again. Kenta knocking him back here. Trying to chop down the redwood that is Big Bill. And now Big Bill grabs onto him. And Brian Cage going after Kenta now. Kenta grabbed by the leg. Rick. Big Bill grabs him now, and Bill with Kenta lifts him up, and that body drop on the apron takes him down. We now know the winners of this seem to be set on course for a for a matchup with Chris Danger and Keith Lee for these titles at some point soon. 
That's Big Bill. Oh, Kenta back into the ring now. And Kenta coming off the ropes. Kenta trying to knock back Big Bill. And now Bill grabs onto Kenta, pulls him in. Big Bill lifts him up, gut wrenches him, taking him down. And now Kenta's starting to get back up. Tag made to Brian Cage. And now Brian Cage. Oh, big backhand misses. And now Jacob Fatu's tagged in, which means the big trucks is going to eat the little trucks. With Brian Cage and Jacob Fatu, Kenta was the only man who couldn't be who could be in the match that would not allow me to say that. As now Jacob Fatu sent off the ropes, Brian Cage power slam to the Samoan Werewolf. Jacob Fatu goes down. Brian Cage grabs onto him and taking him down. Brian Cage goes for a boot. Fatu out of the way. Fatu pounces him across the ring, taking him down. Drop kick knocking him down now. Jacob Fatu. Brian Cage back up to his feet here. Fatu grabs Cage, pops him up, and power bomb knocks him down. Runs in now, gets him knocked back now. Brian Cage runs in and Hurricane Rana knocking down Jacob Fatu. Fatu getting back up now, knocked back. Brian Cage getting knocked back down. Jacob Fatu goes for a forearm. Brian Cage counters Cage. DDT to, to Jacob Fatu. Now Fatu tags Kenta back in. And Kenta now coming in. Boots him in the face, knocking down Brian Cage. Right hook knocking back Big Bill. Double axe handle to Brian Cage. Kenta keeping the House of Fire rolling in now against the Embassy of Aaron. Double axe handle attempt. Brian Cage with a kick instead. Pulls him in. Cage with Kenta. Here we go. Brian Cage looking for the Weapon X. Taking him down into a cover now. Brian Cage with a one, two, no. Kenta kicks out. Cage now gets him back up to his feet. And Brian Cage goes for him. Kenta slides out of it. Taking down Fatu. Now Kenta runs in. Kenta floats over and DDT to Brian Cage. Kenta now hits the ropes. And Kenta hits the Psycho Knee. Down goes Brian Cage for the titles. One. Two kick out from Brian Cage. Brian Cage staying in it now. Kenta kicking away at him now. Kenta runs in. Brian Cage grabs him now. And Kenta sends off the ropes. Brian Cage, elbow strike, taking him down. Tag is made back to Big Bill. Big Bill is in now. Kenta goes for a backhand. Big Bill's got him now. And Big Bill with Kenta up over his head and slams him down. Big Bill striking a pose. Kenta getting him getting back to his feet. And Kenta shoved back now by Bill. Big Bill's got him up in a bear hug. Bear hug in from Big Bill. He's trying to force Kenta to tap out or pass out. But Jacob Fatu making a save there. Big Bill. Whoa. Fatu bounces off the ropes. I think, I think Big Bill was trying to throw him out of the ring. But Fatu was able to brace himself. That's Brian Cage. Goes for a kick into the head. Kenta out of the way. Kenta managing to get some separation now. Kenta runs across the ring. Tag is made. Jacob Fatu is in. And now the Samoan Werewolf coming back in. Sidestep for sidestep here. Grabs him and Samoan drop to Brian Cage. Takes him down into a cover. Brian Cage is down one. No. Big Bill able to get back in now. And Kenta... Kenta grabs Big Bill and Kenta grabs Big Bill up on his shoulders and Kenta with a GTS to Big Bill. But Brian Cage with Jacob Fatu hits him with the drill claw and Brian Cage. Kenta still to strike him with Fatu. Three. Kenta was more concerned with Big Bill on the outside. And Brian Cage scores the win over Jacob Fatu. Fatu, when he missed that Samoan splash, it was over. And your winners and still TNA Tag Team Champions, the Embassy of Aaron. Another big match there tonight. The Embassy of Aaron able to keep the gold. We got plenty more coming up here at Rebellion. We've got some more singles action coming up next here at Rebellion. 
as here comes Eddie Edwards to the ring. Eddie Edwards looking to get some revenge after what happened to him pretty recently at uh, on an episode of TNA where he was set for action against Elijah and they were both attacked by a returning Big Demo. So now Eddie Edwards looks to try and put down the Belfast Brawler tonight. Edwards storming down to the ring. Eddie Edwards is furious about what happened in his with Big Demo showing up. Edwards says that was supposed to be his night to get a big win and start to break back into the main event scene here in TNA. So Eddie has made his way down to the ring. Let's see if he's going to be able to take down the Belfast Brawler because so far everyone else that's tried has gotten flattened in a matter of minutes. And here comes his opponent. Big Demo on the way down to the ring. Big Demo, as I said, has been just an absolute dominant force since his return. We saw him get a big win this past Thursday. And then on Flash Fury, which will return soon, I promise. I just having to pick up the slack for AEW while we get Ray's computer ready is a... Uh, taking a little bit of a toll on my on my time i'm trying to also take more time for myself outside of the channel do things i enjoy off screen a little bit more to try and make my own life a little better but flash fury will be back soon with big demo on the first week of flash fury demolished brian myers in less than a minute one of the few matches that didn't have to be cut down on that show so eddie edwards and big demo here we go Oh, Eddie Edwards starts it with a flying clothesline. Knocks back Damo. Eddie Edwards goes for another one. Damo out of the way. Damo grabs him. And big Damo with Eddie Edwards. Lifts him up. And back suplex taking him down. Edwards is down. Damo drop kicks him right in the face. Getting him back up to his feet now. Big Damo with Eddie Edwards. Throws him into the corner. Edwards splashed in the corner by Damo. And Damo cannonball taking down Eddie Edwards. Damo's got him down now, and Big Damo gets Eddie Edwards back up. Firing away at him now. Damo knocking him back. Damo pulls Eddie in, lifts him up, and Damo body slams him. And Edwards falls out of the ring. Damo coming outside the ring after him, but Eddie. He strike connects from Eddie Edwards now, and Eddie Edwards trying to fight back. Damo answers back with jabs to the gut, though. Damo knocking him back. Big Damo. Throws Eddie back into the ring now, and Damo. Oh, went for the senton. Eddie Edwards out of the way. Well, he tried to roll away, but Damo got him with the second one. Big Damo now getting him back up to his feet here, and Damo with Edwards. Lifts him up. Oh, my God. Damo. Pile driver. And big Damo with Eddie Edwards. Grabs a hold of him. Throws him into the corner now, and big Damo. As Eddie turning him around, Big Damo puts Eddie up on his shoulders, walking him towards the center of the ring for the Oyster Plantation. Into a cover, Damo with the one, two, three. And just like that, Big Damo picks up the win in a matter of minutes once again. Big Damo seems to be unstoppable. Upon his return to TNA. I'm not going to try and stop him. At this point who could. Big win there for Big Damo. Over Eddie Edwards tonight. The Beast of Belfast with the win. I think we could be looking at a guy to uh, pose a huge threat for that TNA world title pretty soon. Damo with the win. We got more coming up on Rebellion right now. The Knockouts Tag Team title is going to be on the line up next. As here come the Decay to the ring. The Decay made their return a few weeks ago as part of a number one contenders match. Won the whole thing. Rosemary and Havoc rise. And I promise out of a new Rosemary tonight. And I, I kept my word. Rosemary and Havoc making their way down to the ring this evening. Looking to become the Knockouts Tag Team Champions.
Big, big matchup here tonight for these two. Chance to become champions will be the first time for them in LS11 Universe that we've seen. So big matchup here tonight. Rosemary and Havoc, they dominated that fatal four-way that they were in to become the number one contenders. And now tonight, they've got their shot at the gold finally. And here come their opponents. The TNA Tag Team Knockouts Tag Team Champions. Here comes the duo of Killer Kelly and Masha Slamovich MK Ultra on their way down to the ring. Now you might think, Xander, why didn't you go get a new Masha? Uh, I've reached my 1,000 logo limit, and I'm recording this the day before the episode goes out. So... I'm doing a big purge of all my WWE creations on here in a couple days. So then I'll then I'll update some TNA people for the for the last month or so of TNA being on here because that's right. TNA, I believe the official first episode of TNA for 2K24, which is crazy enough, beginning in a week for WWE. Um, one week from this past Friday, so five days, which is insane. The, the first TNA video of 2K24 is going to be the uh, going to be the NXT TNA Worlds Collide episode coming on March 31st. So TNA will then officially jump to 2K24 that following Thursday. April the something. A week for WrestleMania. So, The Decay versus MK Ultra. It's Killer Kelly and Rosemary. They had a match this past Thursday. And Rosemary starting off with a big forearm strike. Grabs onto her and... Back body drop to Killer Kelly, taking her down. Killer Kelly starting to get back up now, and Rosemary, forearm strike, goes for a jab. Knee strike to Rosemary. Killer Kelly going at her with jabs now. Knee strike, knocks her into the corner. Knee strike again. Shoves her away, runs in, and jumping like Lariat there. Kelly's got her down. Killer Kelly putting the boots to Rosemary. Rosemary comes back in with a running forearm. Taking her down now, grabs a hold of her, pulls her in. Killer Kelly being dragged towards the corner by Killer by Rosemary. And Rosemary slams her into the corner. And here we go. The monster is in. Jessica Havoc. Rosemary and Havoc now. Look at the height. Killer Kelly got on that back body drop. Flat on her back. And she goes for a clothesline, but Havoc just runs through her. And Havoc now grabs on to Rosemary. And Rosemary sent off the ropes. Havoc. Spine Buster. Into a cover, she's got her down. Rosemary's down. One, two, kick out from Rose or kick out from Killer Kelly. You're kidding me. I'm still getting people mixed up, and they don't even look the same anymore. Oh, there's a neck breaker from Havoc. Now Havoc putting the boots to Killer Kelly. She's got her down here. Killer Kelly in trouble. Havoc grabs onto her. Getting her back up to her feet now. And Havoc with Killer Kelly by the back of the head. Throws her into the corner. Tag is made back to Rosemary. And kick in the ribs from Rosemary. Killer Kelly now caught with a kick in the ribs. Rosemary, double under hook. Killer Kelly counters out of it with an arm drag. Goes for the elbow drop. Rosemary out of the ring. Killer Kelly dives out onto her, taking her down. Killer Kelly now getting her back up to her feet. And Killer Kelly with Rosemary. Grabs onto her. Throws her back into the ring. Referee restarting the count now. Back in the ring goes Killer Kelly. Chopping away at Rosemary now. Jabs her. Kelly with Rosemary. Throwing her across the ring into the corner. Tag is made to Masha. And now Masha Slamovich in for the first time this match. Comes in with an elbow into the back of Rosemary. And an elbow into the back again from Masha. Masha's got her down. Putting the boots to her here. Rosemary with a clothesline. Taking her down. And now Rosemary... Caught with a massive lariat from Tamasha. And now Rosemary's kicked her in the ribs. Rosemary pulling her in. Over a DDT. Slamovich countering. Masha Slamovich firing away now at Rosemary. Back fist. Knocking her towards the corner. Countered. And now Rosemary catches Masha. Oh, she's biting her in the head. Grabs onto her now. Countered. Slamovich grabs onto her. Crucifix cover. Taking down Rosemary. For the one. 
Two, it's saved by Havoc. Asha turns her attention to Havoc for a moment. Asha now grabs onto Rosemary, picking her back up to her feet, goes for a kick. Rosemary swings it around, grabs a hold of her, taking her towards the corner, slams her head first on the turnbuckle. Tag is made to Havoc, and now Havoc coming off the middle rope. Double axe handle to Masha. Swings her around now, and Havoc with Masha. Big suplex there, taking her down. Havoc into a cover now on Masha Slamovich for the one, two, kick out from Masha. Masha's down, Havoc getting her back up to her feet now, and Havoc goes for a kick. Masha countering, Masha grabs onto her, gets her up on her shoulders, and Masha, burning hammer! Wipes out Rosemary there, into a cover, Masha for the one, two, Havoc stays in it. And Masha's got Havoc down, Masha Slimovich getting Havoc, Havoc back to her feet. Went for a roundhouse kick. Havoc pops her up. Powerbomb! Tag is made. Killer Kelly is in. Killer Kelly running in. Gets caught. Havoc with Kelly. Into the corner. Taking her down. Havoc has got Killer Kelly down. Putting the boots to her again. Grabs onto her. Getting her back up to her feet here. Havoc grabs onto Killer Kelly. Pulls her in. And... Throws her across the ring. Tag is made to Rosemary. Rosemary enters the ring now, and Rosemary. Whoa, Killer Kelly grabs her, rolls her through, cover. Killer Kelly, one, two, no. MK Ultra nearly snuck away with the win. And now Rosemary, oh, punched in the back by, by Havoc, or by Masha. And now Killer Kelly. Look at it, Rosemary with her own move. Taking her down. Into the cover now. Rosemary's down. One. Havoc with the save. And Masha. Masha grabs onto Havoc. And Masha. Oh, taking down Havoc. Rosemary, though, dropping Killer Kelly. Grabs onto her now. And Rosemary. With a massive chop, firing away at her now. Knocking Killer Kelly back towards the corner. Spear from Rosemary. Into a cover for the titles. One, two, it's saved last second by Masha. And now Killer Kelly turned over now by Rosemary. And Rosemary punching her in the head. Rosemary's got her down now, and now Masha. Having to watch on as Killer Kelly gets picked back up. Rosemary grabs onto her now, and Rosemary taking her back to the corner of the decay. Tag is made. Havoc is in. And now Rosemary and Havoc. Here we go. Havoc taking out the arm of Masha, or of Killy. Killer, Killer Kelly. And now Havoc gets her up, and Havoc, there's the knee in the face of Killer Kelly into a cover. Havoc, no, saved by Masha. Now Jessica Havoc's going up to the top. This monster looking to fly. Havoc went for a flying elbow. Killer Kelly makes the tag to Masha. And Masha, she hits hard. Oh, but she gets hit harder there. Havoc's got a hold of her now. And Havoc with Masha pulls her up. Grabs her up in a suplex. Masha sli slides out of it. Chop block. Taking out the leg of Havoc. Masha now pulls her in, knee into the face. Grabs onto Rosemary. And Masha Slavich, what's she thinking here? Masha. Oh my god. DDT on the apron to Rosemary. Now Masha back into the ring. With a jab to Havoc, turns her around. Masha with Havoc up again for another burning hammer. One. Two. No. How the hell... Is Jessica Havoc still in this? Masha now grabs Havoc, throwing her off the ropes, and Masha, oh, went for that roundhouse, missed it. Havoc coming back in, grabs a hold of Masha, and Havoc with the Exploder Suplex again. Into a cover now for the gold, Havoc for the one, no. 
Masha stays in it. Grabs onto her, getting her back up to her feet. Masha, no. Counters into a jawbreaker. Went for the roundhouse. Nobody home. Sidesteps her. There's a jab. Goes for her again. Countered. Got her! No! Havoc sweeps the leg. Havoc getting her back up again now. And Havoc goes for Masha. Masha counters. Masha turns her around now. And Masha... Third time could be lucky. Hits it again. Cover. One. But there's Rosemary. Masha looking to come off the middle rope. Hits a knee into the face of Havoc taking her down. And now Rosemary. Drop by Killer Kelly. And Havoc knocks back Masha. Havoc goes for right hook. Masha counters. Masha got her with the roundhouse finally. Into a cover. One. Two. Three. MK Ultra finally retain. Havoc took a beating to put down though. Just like that, MK Ultra with another victory. They are still the Knockouts Tag Team Champions. We've only got two matches left tonight. And it's winner take all up next. The Ring of Honor Television title and the TNA Knockouts title on the line in some mixed tag team action. All right, it's our second to last match of the night. It is winner take all. It is for the TNA Knockouts title and the Ring of Honor Television title. As here comes Steph DeLander to the ring. Steph DeLander marching down to the ring. A big match here tonight for her. A chance to become the Knockouts Champion. To give you guys the rundown on how this works, it's as simple as this. If DeLander and Cardona win, Steph DeLander becomes Knockouts Champion. If Johnny Honor and Trinity win, Johnny Honor becomes Ring of Honor Television Champion. Easy as that. Meaning Trinity doesn't even be pinned to lose her title. And neither does Cardona. So Steph has made her way down to the ring. And her tag team partner, a man with quite frankly a ridiculous amount of championships. And he's not even wearing the right one. He's not even carrying the right one. He's got that many. The New Japan World Television Champion, the Internet Champion, and the Ring of Honor World Television Champion. The Deathmatch King, Matt Cardona, making his way to the ring. And he could add four more titles to that. At Xander Mania in a few weeks. He's in a triple threat winner take all for five championships on that night. The ARW World title, the Los Angeles Wrestling title, the LSWF Internet title, and the LSWF World title could all go to Matt Cardona in just a few weeks. And all he's got to put online is his internet title. So the Deathmatch King on the way to the ring. Matt Cardona, ready for action. And now out next first, here comes the TNA Knockouts Champion. Here comes Trinity to the ring. Trinity has been champion since Bound for Glory a few months ago, where she managed to defeat Hikaru Shida to become the champion. She has been a dominant champion ever since. Trinity has had huge victories as of late. Most recently managed to knock off Kylan King at no surrender. Many people thought she was going to lose on that night. But Trinity 
Megs her way down to the ring. This is a big defense. It's also a scary defense for her because, as I've said, she doesn't have to be pinned or submitted. She could lose the title just by by Cardona or by Johnny Honor being pinned, excuse me. But in the, on the flip side, she could pin Steph DeLander and Cardona could lose the Ring of Honor television title. So Trinity has made her way to the ring. And now here he comes, Johnny Honor. On his way to the ring, part of the Ring of Honor roster on loan for the month. Johnny Honor looking to bring that Ring of Honor television title back to ROH after Cardona has been holding it hostage for the better part of a year now. He captured it at uh, at the TNA Multiverse of Madness, or it was Impact Multiverse of Madness, or Multiverse of Matches, excuse me, last year. Coming up on one year of Cardona with that Ring of Honor title. But Johnny Honor's got that mission tonight to bring it back. Bring it back to Ring of Honor so it can be defended by someone that's actually on the Ring of Honor roster. So, Johnny Honor, Matt Cardona, Steph DeLander, Trinity, the knockouts are starting it out. If I had a modded Steph DeLander, which I do, I just keep forgetting to install it, this, would have been, this wouldn't have been set as a 2K mixed tag. It would have just been normal tag. I would have been able to have intergender fighting in it, but quite simply forgotten. Steph DeLander taken down by Trinity, and now Johnny Honor and Matt Cardona are in. Gotta think the champions, Cardona and Trinity... Are gonna try and keep themselves in the match as much as possible to ensure that they're not the reason they're there so that they can ensure that they don't lose the championships without it being their fault. As Cardona grabs onto Johnny Honor, throws him across the ring into the corner. Matt Cardona, forearm strike into a knee strike, taking down Johnny. Matt Cardona putting the boots to him, but Johnny Honor grabs him. Not gonna back now. Johnny Honor coming off the ropes. DDT to the Deathmatch King. Matt Cardona goes down. Johnny Honor grabs onto him now. And Honor getting Cardona back up. Johnny Honor with Matt Cardona taking him towards the corner. Slams him head first in the turnbuckle. And Johnny Honor now grabs Cardona. Does it again. Now Johnny has got Cardona. Johnny does it again. Cardona in the corner. And Johnny Honor now tying the arm up of Cardona in the ropes. Cardona in some trouble here. Cardona staggers back into the corner. And Johnny grabs him. Here we go. Runs the ropes. DDT. Taking him down. Into a cover on Matt Cardona. Johnny Honor for the one. Kick out from Cardona. Honor has got a hold of him now. And Johnny Honor with Matt Cardona. Into the corner. Throws him head first into the turnbuckle. Kicks in, or knees him in the ribs now. Kicks him in the ribs now. And Johnny Honor kicked in the ribs now by Cardona. Matt Cardona runs in. Jumping neck breaker. Taking him down. Johnny Honor goes down now. Matt Cardona getting him back up to his feet now. Chopping away at him. Shoves him back into the ropes now. And Matt Cardona throws Johnny Honor through the ropes now. And Cardona hits the ropes and dives to the outside. Taking down Johnny. Johnny Honor goes down. Cardona with an elbow strike. Taking him down. Cardona now knocking him back. Johnny Honor caught with a chop. Honor counters and Johnny... Pops up. Hurricane run to Matt Cardona taking him down. Referee the count of four here. Johnny Honor grabs onto him now. And Johnny with a forearm strike. Down goes Cardona. At the count of five. Matt Cardona starting to get back up. Six count. Johnny Honor knocked back now. Cardona six count. Seven. Cardona goes back in the ring. He doesn't care. I don't think Cardona really cares if Steph wins. I think for him that's a bonus. Matt Cardona's just worried about keeping his title. And Johnny Honor back at it. Nine radio silence. Cardona rolls him over. Cover for the gold. Trinity makes the save. And the ref gets knocked out in the process. And Matt Cardona now. Referee is down. Johnny Honor. Drop kick to Cardona. Knocking him back. And Johnny. Super kick to Matt Cardona. Grabs onto him now, and Johnny Honor, atomic drop. And drop kick again to Cardona. He's knocking him back over and over here. Johnny Honor. DDT. Matt Cardona's down. Johnny tags Trinity back in. I don't know how they're calling for the tag, though. And Trinity with a right hook to Cardona. Trinity now with Steph off the ropes. Trinity 
Hurricane Rana taking her down. Steph going after her now. Grabs the leg. Knee into the back of the leg of Trinity. Trinity is down. Steph DeLander putting the boots to her now. Steph DeLander has got her down. Trinity back up now. And Trinity with a kick to Steph. Kicks her in the ribs. Knee strike. And kicks her in the head. Down she goes. Trinity has got her down now. Steph DeLander is down. Trinity with a tag back to Johnny Honor. Though I don't know why she would do that. She had Steph DeLander right where she wanted her. But Johnny Honor, this might be why. Dropping Matt Cardona. Johnny Honor now into a cover. One, two. Cardona kicks out. Now Johnny Honor's got Matt Cardona. Cardona shoves him away. And Matt Cardona with a knee strike. Grabs all of them now. Matt Cardona with Johnny Honor. Here we go. Throws him off the ropes. Cardona. Spine buster taking him down. Matt Cardona putting the boots to Johnny Honor now. Cardona. Drop kicked by Johnny. Johnny Honor has got him down now. Matt Cardona. Punch to the face from Johnny taking him down. Standing shooting star from Johnny Honor. And now Johnny's got him back up to his feet. And Johnny grabs all of him. Taking him towards the corner now. Johnny Honor with Cardona into the corner. Here we go. Johnny Honor to become Ring of Honor television champion. Star Ship Pain. Do a cover now on Cardona. One Steph DeLander with the save. And Steph DeLander makes the save. Cardona. Cardona with a small package. Matt Cardona, small package here. Nothing Trinity can do about it. One, two, and Steph DeLander accidentally getting involved. She was trying to take out Trinity, I'm pretty sure. But she got right in the crossfire and accidentally broke it up. Tag is made now. DeLander is in, as is Trinity. And Matt Cardona and Steph DeLander, what are they thinking here? They each grab one of the, one of the opponents. Oh, but Trinity and Johnny Honor taking them down. Trinity now covers Steph DeLander. Trinity, one, no, Steph kicks out. And now Steph DeLander's caught. Trinity has her by the back of the head here, and Trinity slams her head first into the turnbuckle. Trinity goes for Steph counters. Steph DeLander rolls her through. Cover. Handful of tights. Steph, one, no, Trinity kicks out. And now Trinity's got her. Oh, what a kick in the face. Getting her back up to her feet now. Steph DeLander's down. Trinity bringing the rapid fire kicks into Steph. Roundhouse kick knocks her down. Grabs onto her. Getting her back up to her feet now. And Trinity goes for a kick. Steph turns her around. Forearm strike. Steph DeLander catching Trinity now. Pulls her in. Lifts her up. And no. Trinity almost striking away. Knocking her back. Steph caught by Trinity. Kicks her in the ribs. Trinity. Sunset flip takes her down. Trinity's now got her back up to her feet. Here we go. The rapid fire kick's coming back in. Roundhouse to Steph again. Trinity's got her down now. And Trinity with DeLander back to her feet. Trinity pulls her in. Sending her across the ring into the corner. Trinity. Taking her down. And Trinity. Hang on a minute. Trinity with Starship Pain. Into a cover now on Steph DeLander. Trinity for the one, two. Saved by Steph DeLander kicks out. And now Trinity's got a hold of her, taking Steph towards the corner. Sends her into the corner face first. There's a kick. Trinity now with Steph. Here we go. Trinity. Shoves her down. Now Trinity goes for a clothesline. Steph DeLander. Tag is made to Matt Cardona, and there's nothing Trinity can do about that. Matt Cardona, radio, silence, connects. One, two, Trinity with the save. Cardona taking down Johnny Honor. Steph DeLander on the outside of the ring as well. Steph DeLander stalking Trinity and Steph. Oh, well, wait a minute. Pulls Trinity off the apron. And Steph DeLander with Trinity on the outside. Drops her face first into the floor. And Matt Cardona now grabs onto Johnny Honor and Cardona. 
with a clothesline taking him down. And Matt Cardona turns him over now. Matt Cardona, ankle lock on Johnny Honor. Matt Cardona, great vines. I don't know. We've ever seen Cardona attempt a submission. He's got it in, though. But Trinity making the save again. Cardona goes for him. Johnny Honor knocking him back. Johnny Honor. Oh, knocks down Cardona. Both men down now. Matt Cardona back to his feet here. Matt Cardona. Cardona's got Johnny down now. And Matt Cardona stalking Johnny Honor. Picks him back up to his feet. And Cardona hitting radio silence again. Steph taking down Trinity. And Matt Cardona. One, two, three. Matt Cardona allows Steph Delander to become Trin to take Trinity's knockouts title by pinning Johnny Honor. Trinity, whenever she was in there, it seemed like it was going to go her way. But whenever Cardona and Honor were in there, it was just Cardona's match to win. Matt Cardona, Steph Delander, an amazing victory there for the for the. Major wrestling gods. Steph Delander, the new TNA Knockouts champ. Our main event is just moments away. All right, well, it is main event time. What the hell? Um, well, I... What? He's back. We haven't seen him in months. Jeff Jarrett's back. A wild slam nuts has appeared. Jeb Jarrett storming down the ramp and told that he, he stormed into the arena just a moment ago. And it seems Jeb Jarrett is playing all the show hostage. Jeb Jarrett has marched into the arena uninvited, not contracted to TNA anymore. Left after his contract ran out. After his loss to Heath back at the uh, Turning Point event. Well, I've been told Santino is going to send someone out here to stop this. There's no way. No. Well, folks... I think the retirement tour has taken a pit stop at Rebellion. The man called Sting. Sting is here. The Stinger is in TNA. We haven't seen Sting in TNA in 10 years. And Sting is coming out to foil Jeff Jarrett one more time. Sting will compete in the final match of his career against Swerve in AEW next week at Wrestle Dream. But tonight, he stops by the Impact Zone and he's here to take on Jeff Jarrett. Jeb Jarrett and Sting, and Jarrett is pissed. Here comes Jarrett. Clothesline to Sting. And Sting catches the leg, sw swings him around. Drop kick. And a right hook taking him down. Sting getting him back up to his feet now, and Sting with a jab now, firing away at Jeff Jarrett. Sting grabs Jarrett. Throws him off the ropes now, and Sting. Spike Buster to double J. Goes for a kick. Jarrett swings through into neck breaker on Sting. Sting goes down. Jarrett getting him back up to his feet. Jeff Jarrett jabbing into chops now. Knocks him back. Jarrett went for a kick. Clothesline from Sting. And now Sting, shoulder block, takes him down, grabs onto him. Sting grabs Jarrett now, and Sting with Jeff Jarrett over the top rope. Sting grabs him, stuns him in the ropes. Down goes double J. 
Stinger now follows him to the outside now, and Sting with Jarrett grabs a hold of him and sends him back into the ring. Sting grabs a hold of Jarrett again now, getting him back up, and Sting fires away at him with jabs now into a chop. Sting knocks him back again. Jarrett grabs him. German suplex taking down Sting. And now Double J with a drop kick taking him down into another one. Sting goes down again now, and Jarrett trying to take him down here. Double J, Jeff Jarrett firing away at Sting here. Sting knocked back, goes for a clothesline. Jarrett turns him around now, and Jarrett looking for the stroke. Sting right looking to the back, and Sting taking down Jarrett. Here we go into Scorpion Deathlock. Scorpion Deathlock in on Double J and Jeff Jarrett. Jarrett taking down the Stinger. Jarrett with a drunk kick has got him down now. And Sting pulling back to his feet now. Jarrett stalking him. Sting rolls back through. Jarrett, no. Sting, German suplex of his own. Jarrett goes down now. And Sting, oh my god. Sting flies to the outside. And now Sting getting Double J back up to his feet. Sting sends Jarrett back into the ring. Sting grabs a hold of him now, getting Jeff Jarrett back up to his feet. Turns him around. Sting. Scorpion Death Drop. And Sting grabs the legs of Double J. Here we go. Turns him over. Locking him in. Scorpion Death Lock. It's over. Jeff Jarrett taps out. Double J goes down. Jeff Jarrett loses in his return. Sting with another win on the retirement tour. But now, for real this time, ladies and gentlemen, no more tricks, I promise. Our main event, EC3, Joe Hendry, it's right now. All right, folks, it is time for your main event of the evening. This next match, set for one fall, is for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship. Out first, here comes the challenger. Here comes the self-proclaimed Overman. E. C. Three on the way down to the ring. EC3 getting the one on one TNA world title match he was promised two years ago when LS11 Impact officially debuted all the way back in season three of the channel. He had that triple threat last month against Joe Hendry and Rowan that he ultimately came up short in because of an injury caused by Rowan, but now. EC3 with a chance to win the championship in a one-on-one -on -one environment. EC3 is a former world champion in the LS11 universe all the way back in Season 1. He was a world champion in the WWE. It was very short-lived reign, though, because in the middle of the reign, he was released from the WWE. He came in, he did the last match as champion, lost the championship to Roman Reigns, and... We didn't see him for four years after that. EC3 was gone from Night of Cha or Clash of Champions Season 1 all the way until the World Cup earlier this year where he made a return. Made it all the way to the quarterfinals of the World Cup. Cheating his way to victories all along the way did EC3 before finally impressing enough to get a new contract with TNA upon the return of the promotion's name at Bound for Glory a few months ago now. Came out number 30 in the Call Your Shot gauntlet. Feels he was screwed out of it. The match ultimately won by Mustafa Ali, who still has yet to call his shot for any championship match. But EC3 tonight says he's not even going to need Call Your Shot tonight. He's going to silence the doubters tonight. He is going to turn the believers into the people who control their narrative. Say his name. The TNA World Heavyweight Champion, 
on his way to the ring, fighting out of Edinburgh, Scotland. He calls himself the answer to all of life's problems. 252 pounds of pure motivation. Used to be a local hero, now I'd consider him a global hero. The TNA World Champion, Joe Hendry, on his way down to the ring. Hendry has defended that championship several times since winning it. Back at Bound for Glory, ending the 500 plus day reign of the dominant Samoa Joe. The dominant Samoa Joe, who this time next week could be the LS11 AEW champion, depending on how things go at Wrestle Dream. There's your plug to check that out next week. Ray will be premiering that. Ray will be officially back in the driver's seat for TNA, not just, or not TNA, for AEW, not just coaching me from the passenger seat. We've got him a new computer. I'm working on setting it up, uh, probably on the Monday Night Raw watch along tomorrow, so tune in for that. See the old place that we recorded from with, like you've never seen it before. So without any further ado, EC3 Joe Hendry, one-on-one. -on -one. Here we go. Hendry runs in, close, goes for a clothesline. EC3 caught him, lifts him up now, and drops him on his leg. Sweeping the leg with, with it. EC3 has got Hendry now. EC3, oh, what a clothesline there from the champ. Hendry knocking back EC3 now into the corner. Joe Hendry close lines him, taking him down. And now Hendry hits the ropes and knee strike. Hendry, it's been an incredible year for him so far. He won the World Cup. He came into the season as digital media champion. He won the World Cup against Finn Balor a few months ago. He beat Samoa Joe. And now he is the TNA World Champion. An absolute fan favorite is Joe Hendry. He's got his doubters. He's got those who don't believe. But the believers greatly outweigh them. Big punch there from EC3. And now EC3's got him down. Right hook in the back of Joe Hendry. Grabs a hold of him now. EC3 with a knee into the face of Joe Hendry. He's got him down now. And EC3 snaps the leg of the, of the prestigious Joe Hendry. Hendry getting picked back up to his feet now. EC3's got him. Hendry with a forearm strike. Taking him down. And now Joe Hendry caught with a clothesline from EC3. Hendry kicks him in the face now, and Hendry, clothesline, ducks him now, sends him off the ropes, Joe, back body drop, and now Hendry has EC3, turns him around, picks him up, spine buster from the TNA champion. Putting the boots to EC3 now, EC3 is down, EC3 back to his feet now, Hendry's caught, EC3, knee into the face, taking down Joe. Into a cover now, EC3, cover on Hendry for the one. Kick out from Joe Hendry. EC3's got him down now as Hendry pulling himself back up to his feet. Joe Hendry, uppercut, taking down EC3. Hendry getting him back up to his feet now, and Joe Hendry with a jab. Into another one, Joe Hendry knocking him back. EC3 grabs him now, scoops up Joe Hendry. EC3 taking him towards the ropes, lifts him up, and launches him out of the ring. EC3 following him to the outside now. Hendry is down. EC3 standing tall now, grabs onto him, pulls him in, punches him in the face. Ray Ray starting the count now. Ray Ray at the count of two. Hendry picked back up now. EC3 circling him, grabs a hold of him, pulls him in, and knee into the face again. Count of four now. EC3 bending back the leg of Joe Hendry. He's got him down. Hendry's down, EC3, count of five. Getting him back up to his feet here. EC3 with Hendry. Back into the ring. And now Hendry back to his feet, six count. EC3 follows him back in. EC3's got a hold of him now, and Carter taking Hendry towards the ropes. Grabs a hold of him, pulls him in, lifts him up now. EC3 bounces him in the ro into the ropes. Hendry's down, EC3 turns him over, grabs a hold of him, he's got Hendry, and knee into the back of the head of Joe, and EC3 posing over him, Hendry is down, EC3's got Hendry now, picking him back up to his feet, EC3 with Hendry up on his shoulders, one percenter, 
to become the TNA World Champion. EC3 cover on Hendry. EC3 for the one, two. Joe Hendry kicks out. EC3 gets him back up. He's going for it again. Hendry counters. Joe Hendry has him by the throat. Standing ovation. Into a cover now. EC3. One, two. Kicks out. Both men have now hit their best shot on the other. EC3 is down. Hendry goes for a kick. EC3 hits striking a pose. Joe Hendry dives out onto him. EC3 hates dives. He hates super kicks. And Joe Hendry just hit him with one of his least favorite moves. The tope hip toss there from EC3. Now EC3 getting him back up to his feet for the jab. Hits him again now. And spine buster taking him down. I know we all made fun of EC3 for the uh, the no topes, no dives, or no dives, no super kicks, no destroyers thing in CYA or CYN when it was a uh, when it was a promotion. But um, after listening to his reasoning behind it, I kind of understand it. Go look up his interview with Chris Van Vliet. It's awesome. CVV is is awesome. EC3 now gets Hendry back up to his feet now, and EC3 with Hendry lifts him up, drops him, and. Sweeps the leg. Hendry's head connects with the t with the stairs. But EC3, you got to break the count if you don't want if you want to win the championship. Nine count. Hendry beats the count and punches EC3 in the back. Joe Hendry getting him back up to his feet now. Joe Hendry jabs him, firing away at EC3 now, knocks him back, and now Hendry. EC3 is staggered. Hendry pulls him in. EC3 counters into a cover. Hendry kicks out. Hendry getting picked back up now. EC3 going for the one percenter again. Hendry with a right hook. Hendry rolls him through into a cover now. Joe Hendry, no. Rope break from EC3. Hendry putting the boots to him now. And Joe Hendry has got EC3 down. Joe Hendry kicking away at him now. EC3. Grabs onto him, and there's the original one percenter, the headlock driver. And EC3, what is he thinking here? EC3, knee strike, picks him up, and one percenter, cover, no! Hendry kicked out before even one, because EC3 was doing that cocky cover. EC3 with a knee strike to Joe Hendry. Grabs onto him now, and EC3 goes for him. Hendry swings him around. Forearm strike. Joe Hendry now has him again for a second. Standing ovation. He covers EC3 now, and Joe Hendry with EC3 for the one, two, kick out from EC3. Joe Hendry unable to keep him down there. EC3 out of the way now. Hendry coming in. EC3 counters with a knee strike. EC3 ducks under him. Close line to Joe Hendry. Now EC3 getting Joe Hendry back up to his feet. EC3 goes for a kick. Hendry swings him around. Forearm strike into neckbreaker. Taking him down. Goes for a kick now. Knocking him down. Joe Hendry's got him. Turns him over. Hendry. Ankle lock. Hendry with the Hendry lock as he dubs it. Adopted that move after his match with Kurt Angle in 2016. And EC3 pushes out of it. Both these men have incredible history with Kurt Angle. Clothesline from EC3 to Joe Hendry. And Joe Hendry goes for him. Hendry grabs EC3 and freak of nature taking him down. Hendry's got EC3 down now and Hendry drops the elbow on him. Joe Hendry now grabs EC3, getting him back up to his feet. Hendry grabs him by the throat. EC3, elbow strike connects. EC3 grabs Hendry up on his shoulders. One percenter connects again. And now EC3 tells everyone this is going to be it. This is where he's going to finish the job and make these people stop believing in Joe Hendry once and for all. EC3... Walks him towards the center of the ring. He's got Joe Hendry up. He's going to hit one more one percenter. He's bad mouthing Hendry. Hendry slips out of it now. And Joe Hendry gets him with a jab in the throat. 
Pulls EC3 in. Joe Hendry kicks him in the ribs. DDT from Joe. Now Joe Hendry getting him back up to his feet. Hendry goes for a kick. Knocking him down with a punch in the gut. Grabs onto him now. Hendry with EC3 up. Hendry uppercut taking him down. Joe Hendry has got EC3 down. Joe Hendry with a jab to EC3. Hip toss there from EC3. Hendry getting picked back up now. EC3 kicked in the, in the knee. Joe Hendry pulls him in. Kicks him. And DDT taking him down. Hendry's got him up again now. And Joe Hendry. He's got him. One more standing ovation. No EC3 countered again. EC3 goes for him. Hendry with a counter. Hendry goes down to a knee. EC3 getting knocked back now. Hendry elbows his way out of it now. And Joe Hendry gets him for a third standing ovation. Into a cover on EC3. Hendry. One, two, three. Joe Hendry picking up the victory over EC3 tonight. An incredible battle there for the TNA World Title. That's going to do it for tonight, though, folks. Thank you all for watching TNA Rebellion this season. Next time TNA comes to you live, it'll be for NXT versus TNA Worlds Collide. Well, what the? That's, oh my god, Baron Corbin from NXT! Like I said, NXT and TNA's Worlds Collide is only a few weeks away, and Baron Corbin! Corbin with the end of days again! Hendry with an incredible defense against EC3, and then out of nowhere, Baron Corbin! from NXT shows up. And I guess we now know what the main event of NXT versus TNA Worlds Collide will be. Never in my life did I think I'd be saying the man standing tall at the end of a TNA pay-per-view is Baron fucking Corbin. I'll see you all next time. I've been Xander, and that was Universe. I look forward to your responses to this.